is a web-based learning assistant that fully integrates assessment and learning for a growing number of subjects. It is available 24-7 from any computer connected to the Internet. At the heart of Alex is an artificial intelligence engine. Through its adaptive assessment, Alex determines precisely what a student already knows and what the student is ready to learn next. Knowledge of a subject varies by student, so no two students will have the same assessment result. Alex uses a free response environment that avoids multiple choice questions and provides tools for realistic input. As a result, students must accurately demonstrate their knowledge. Alex is fully bilingual in English and Spanish for many courses. Alex improves student performance by determining unique learning paths for each student. Fully integrated assessment and learning facilitates knowledge acquisition and retention. The Alex pie chart displays each student's level of mastery. The darker colored part of each slice shows the material the student has mastered. The pie chart reflects the student's current knowledge of the subject and what the student is currently prepared to learn. In the Alex learning mode, the choice of topics is optimized to each student's current knowledge. Alex provides practice topics, explanations, and a variety of input tools and resources to aid the specific needs of each student. Alex analyzes student input and offers advice and feedback. Once a student masters an item, Alex updates the student's pie. As students see their pies being filled, their motivation increases. The power of Alex is multiplied for instructors who can view student, class, and school progress. Alex offers a powerful instructor module that monitors class mastery and learning progress. Class reports illustrate detailed student and class progress and offer instructors dynamic information from which to guide their instruction. Yeah, I especially and like the pie chart. Yeah, the pie chart. It's very it's like, um, it shows you which subjects you. And whenever know. if I get the answer wrong, it like tells me what did I do wrong, and then I just I can just go back and fix it, and then I'll just get it right. Cool. All right, Alex is an individualized program, and once you take your initial assessment, each student gets a, their own pie chart that shows what they've already learned in the dark area and what they still need to learn. In each area outside the pie, what they can do, they can choose whatever they want to work on. You can see for equations, inequalities, and functions, I've only mastered 20 out of the 46 topics. So I can click on that. I need to find function rule. Maybe I don't want to work on that. Maybe right now geometry and measurement is something I want to work on. And maybe I want to do the sum of the angles of a triangle. You can see I've only mastered 143 of the 211 topics. Um, and I can choose to go around my pie and work on whatever it is I want to work on, whether it be signed numbers. Maybe I want to work on decimals and percent. So let's say I want to go work on geometry and measurement. I just click on some of the angle measurements, and it gives me a triangle. Then what I'd have to do is see if I can go ahead with pencil and paper and go 180 degrees minus 114 degrees minus 31 degrees to see if I could get my answer. Let's say I think the answer is 50. I can go next, plug that in, and it's going to say my answer is incorrect and explain it. So what's nice, it goes back to the explain part. Whenever you want to go back to your pie, you can go back to your pie and choose to work on something else. So it gives students choice and allows them to complete their pie. Once their pie is complete, then I can switch them up to the next level of course. click explain and they'll explain that every step of the problem and how you can do it. And so you press practice and you can just work on the problem. One, two, three, four. So let's see. Five, seven, eight, seven, point zero. Oh. Nope. So now you go to explain. Even if you get the question wrong. 
Alright, so I saw that my mistake is that I needed to put the zero and then the point. So I misplaced the, the, the decimal. and you're practicing a certain topic, like let's say this one's about order of operations. Let's say I don't know what I'm doing or I tried it on a pe uh, my paper and pencil, and let's th say I think the answer is 4. I'm going to go next. Now, it's going to tell me my answer is incorrect, and if I want to see how to do it correctly, I press explain. It's going to give me step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that type of problem shows me the rules, the steps, and what the correct answer is going to be. Then I can go ahead and I could practice it again and it'll give me another problem. Trying to get my grades up. Where, where are you here at lunch? Yep. I'm at Miss Morales class. Just try, do my, try to get everything. Done on Alex? Yep. So you can use the netbooks during school and at home? Yep, including at the library. At the li school. Let me see your pie chart. What are you working on right there? Well, so far, I've been having a hard time getting my grades up. So I'm using my Alex and sorry up to a 70. Try to get it up so I can hit to a 90 so I can get an A. Cool. See ya. See ya.